In this video, I am going to be predicting how the NFL playoffs will play out this year. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel today. In today's video, I decided to go on NFLPlayoffPredictor.com and simulate every single NFL game. And then from that, I decided to take those playoff teams and explain how I think the playoffs are going to end up going this year. Now, I think this is a pretty good exercise to see each team's schedule when they play teams, what they're playing off a bye at home, you know, on a short week. Really take those results and then kind of get a, a picture of what the playoffs could look like come, you know, January uh, later on in the year. Now, I do want to briefly talk about the non-playoff teams before I get into the playoffs and just kind of explain my reasoning on a lot of them. So teams in the NFC that I didn't have making the playoffs, I didn't have the Giants making the playoffs. I think they're going to be really bad this year. The Commanders, I'm not expecting a huge season from Jaden Daniels in year one. I also don't like their coaching staff, don't like their offensive line. I think they're a little thin at defense. The Carolina Panthers at 3-14, and 14, they were the worst team in the league last year. I don't think they made enough improvements to make them a playoff team. I think the Saints and the Buccaneers are kind of mid this year. I know I'm a Baker Mayfield hater. I know. I get it. I get it. But I just don't see it. I think the Falcons are going to run away with this division. And then in the NFC North, the Vikings, you know, would have maybe been interesting with J.J. McCarthy. He's now out for the whole year. I don't trust Sam Darnold. The Bears, you know, barely miss out. They go 10-7. and seven. Caleb, I think, has a really good year. I think the Cardinals go 6-11. and 11. They're kind of mid. And then I think the Rams go 8-9. and nine. I think they barely miss out on the playoffs as well. In the AFC, um, I have the Titans going 2-15. and 15. Not really. That was kind of a, a glitch in the system, I guess. I don't think they're going to be that bad. I don't think they're going to be very good. But 2-15 and 15 is a bit extreme. Also, the Colts at 7-10 and 10 kind of surprised me because I think I'm higher on the Colts than everybody else. So maybe I, I just didn't give them a few 50-50 games. I don't really know. But I guess I have them missing out as well. The AFC West, I think the Broncos and Raiders are going to be garbage. And then I have the Chargers just missing the playoffs. Kind of like the Bears in the NFC. They're just barely there. But better things ahead in 2025 for the Chargers. Now let's go to the AFC North. I think the Steelers and Browns both have good defenses. But huge question marks at quarterback. I think that weighs them down this year and they miss the playoffs. And then I think the Patriots are going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. And I think the Jets go 9-8. and eight. They don't play up to their potential. They play better but not up to their potential, and they just, just miss out on the playoffs this year. So then let's start with the NFC playoff picture. In the first game, we would have Seattle going to Dallas, the five seed versus the four seed, and I would pick my Seahawks to win that game. Listen, maybe I'm setting the bar too high for Mike McDonald this year, but I think this defense is going to improve drastically. I think their pass rushes look good. Their defensive backs have looked phenomenal. And I think Geno Smith is going to have a great year as well this year under new offensive coordinator Ryan Grubb. I think he will be able to utilize all the good skill position talent on the Seahawks, get them to make plays. As for the Dallas Cowboys, now I do think that they're going to be very explosive. I think they win the NFC East. I think they're going to be very, very good this year. However, we know the struggles of Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott in the playoffs. Last year, Green Bay walked into Dallas, whooped their ass, right? I think the Seahawks could do something kind of similar. Obviously, I would expect a closer game. However, I think the Seahawks do beat the Cowboys in Dallas in round one. Next game, Philadelphia Eagles at the Atlanta Falcons. I would take the Philadelphia Eagles. I think the Eagles are a better team than the Falcons. They're just stuck in a better division against the Cowboys, unfortunately. Similar to the Seahawks, I think new coaching will really help this team uh, reach a next level. Kellen Moore and Vic Fangio, uh, two new coordinators, two coordinators that have been around the league, know a lot. I think Kellen Moore is going to make this passing offense way more consistent. And now he also has Saquon Barkley to work with. Give me the Eagles going to Atlanta. And then for the final matchup of Wild Card Weekend for the NFC, I would have the divisional matchup between the Lions and the Packers. Now, I think both these teams are going to be very, very good. The NFC North is going to be a tightly contested division. But ultimately, whenever you have to go to play at Lambeau Field, I just don't like your chances. Give me the Packers in round one against the Lions. Now, looking at the AFC side of things, I have the Dolphins going into Jacksonville. Now, lucky for the Dolphins, they get to play in warm weather. Unluckily for the Dolphins, they have to play the Jaguars, who I think are going to be really, really good this year. Listen, the Jaguars fooled me last year. All right, I get it. But they are going to be really good this year. Trevor Lawrence is the prince that was promised. This offense is going to be more consistent, and they're going to win a playoff game for the first time since 2022. Next, we have the Texans going to Arrowhead. Sorry, C.J. Stroud. No, Nobody wins an Arrowhead. The worst finish Patrick Mahomes has had as Chiefs starting quarterback has been a loss in the AFC Championship game. I'm not picking them to lose in the wild card round at home. I I'm sorry. And then we got the Bengals at the Ravens. Ravens being the number two seed in the AFC. 
I think this is going to be the best game of Wild Card Weekend. Joe Burrow wants to get the Bengals back to the Super Bowl. He wants to get them their redemption from not winning against the Rams. I think this is going to be a close game. I think the Ravens are going to play well. The Bengals are going to play well. But I think the Bengals, by the, the hairs on their chinny-chin-chin, chin, just barely beat the Ravens. I think they move on to the divisional round. Now for the NFC divisional round, I have the Seahawks at Green Bay. Like I said, I think the Seahawks are going to be good. I'm not crazy enough to pick them to go to the NFC championship game. I get it. The Packers were a few plays away from going last year, plus they're at home. I have to take Green Bay in this scenario. And then I have the Eagles at San Francisco playing in the NFC divisional round. Listen, a couple years ago, this was a blowout. Brock Purdy got hurt. It was in Philadelphia. This year, the 49ers unfortunately do beat them. They go to... They're like fifth straight NFC championship game or something like that. I don't even know. Then in the AFC, the Jaguars go to Arrowhead. Much like 2022, the Chiefs take care of business. They go to the AFC championship game. And the Bills take on the Bengals in Orchard Park. The number one seed Bills take care of business. They they defeat the monster that has been their playoff disappointments. They go on to meet the Chiefs in another AFC championship game. And then in conference championship weekend, the Packers are at San Francisco. They actually win. They do what they didn't do last year, and they finish the game out. They make those few extra plays that would have done it for them. And then the Bills beat the Kansas City Chiefs. I know. It's bold. I know. Josh Allen gets to his first Super Bowl. And then in the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen, the Buffalo Bills win the first title in franchise history. Josh Allen is in, is immortal now. He'll never have to buy another beer in Buffalo ever again. He is that special kind of player that could get it done. I am so excited for the Buffalo Bills this year. These are my playoff predictions. Sorry about my voice being all shitty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I want to keep making videos. If my throat will co cooperate, pause. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.